beautiful girls that's why you never mm, you got me in denial in denial when you say it's over okay i don't know who that's for she got me suicidal suicidal when you say it's over i don't know somebody um could be breaking up with somebody or whatever okay and someone could be trying to play that that um not play but someone could be emotionally manipulating you okay or they could be emotionally unstable all right due to a breakup heartfulness heartfulness okay so i'm getting like somebody's heart their heart is full Okay, it could be of love, I don't know, or their their heart could be like their heart chakra could be overactive or something. Their heart is too full. Okay, what's going on here? Not sure what sign is this this is for, okay? Hold on. Let's get the sign that this is for. I'm hearing Taurus, but I'm just gonna get confirmation. Oh, no, where's the deck that I be using? Okay, it's right here. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get, what sign is this for? Holy Spirit, angels of the highest highlight. What sign is this for? Pisces. She's a high priestess. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Taurus energy, high priestess. Okay. But um, you could be a Pisces. All right, let's see. You could be dealing with the high priestess. 51st dates in Hannah Montana. So you know what I'm getting here? I'm getting like an alter ego that someone may have. Like um, with this 51st dates in Hannah Montana coming out here. So... Waves of Destiny. Oh, this lady on the roof? Okay. Um, 51st dates. It's going to take some time for someone to warm up to someone. Like, it's going to take a long time. It's, it, it could be even like 50 encounters that you have with someone. Okay, like I'm getting like every time you see someone, it's like the first time they see you or it's like the first time you see this person. Okay, maybe this person um, could have been broken up with in the past and it and it really hurt they, it really hurt them. Okay, I don't know, like someone could have took advantage of them and then like broke up with them or something like that. And they could have been like um, suicidal or they, they got super depressed. All right, let's see here. This is 50. Someone could have also went through like a traumatic, like um, a near death experience that changed their life. And it's like someone broke up with them like during that time. So, yeah. That's how I feel like. Okay, with the Secret Life of an American Teenager. Okay, so I'm getting like interesting. Interesting. All right, so there is a relationship here that was like by accident. And when I say by accident, I mean like, okay, so something like, something could have happened during the first date. Like you, maybe you slept with this person the first date where you, it's like, like I said, so every time someone sees someone, it's like the first time they're experiencing them, the first time they've seen them, or it's like they're reminded again how in love with they are, like they are with you or vice versa. I love that. Secret Life of American Teenager. So this is like an, uh, a first date or a first uh somebody could have slept with somebody on the first night but yeah some um first night turning into like a pregnancy and a marriage like some shit like that with the secret life of american teenager but it's like this woman this woman is like um with this 51st dates i'm getting this woman because 51st dates 
I see it in multiple ways. It could be a neurological disorder. Like, it could be, like, autism or, um, like, um, someone could have been also, like, abused. Like, narcissistically abused. So, they're very forgetful. They could have short-term memory loss. Or even, like, they could have, like, um, blackouts. Like, with, because of certain traumas that happened in their life. So, they could have blacked out or there's, like, a whole period of their life that they don't remember. Okay? That's, that's what I get from that. All right. Yeah. Someone could have went to like an extreme depression depression because someone could have left them during like a sensitive time in their life or something like that. All right. Now, this could even be like someone died. And like after that, like someone like someone could be a widow. So you could be dealing with a widow here. Yeah. Raising Dion, a widow, a widowed person that has like a son or a child. OK. And this child is also very special. This child is very um, intuitive. You could be dealing with the high priestess here. This child that she has is also very intuitive and very um, psychic, could have telekinetic powers, telekinesis, um, all the tellers um, or the clairs or something like that. You're dealing with a supernatural being, okay? But this person is heavily targeted and suppressed. So it's kind of like they live a double life. So it's a double mission, a double life. Okay, Hannah Montana. This person has to act normal or something like that, but they're not. Okay, they're a divine being. They're, 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 they have celebrity energy. They have um, some sort of uh, divine destiny. It says waves of destiny. So um, um, that's what I was seeing. Waves of destiny and heartfulness. Okay. Let's see here. Get out. So... Someone, okay, so someone could also be under like some sort of MK Ultra, or like I said, some sort of trauma. Um, so this MK Ultra is meant to keep this person in the sunken place so that they're unable to get out of some sort of like, um, I'm hearing like reactive, something is like reactive, something, um, they're doing something to, to this person to get them to react in a certain way that is like embedded in their subconscious all right so something may require hypnosis or someone could have actually been hypnotized okay um it could be some sort of mk ultra or programming um and this is what this first 50 first dates is so it's like every time that someone like does this or whatever plays a song listens to a show it, it's something like that okay research mk ultra and how it works and whatever but basically it's like every time they hear that song every time they hear whatever um, they go back and, and they revert, they regress into whatever trauma this is or how they were, how they acted out because of this trauma. They could have a split personality with the hand Montana here. Monk. So I feel like someone is coming out of this energy because they are, maybe they are becoming, um, so someone's, someone's bringing their two split personalities together. So they are, um, they're accessing their higher self. They're accessing their higher mind. Their lower self and their um, higher self is becoming one. Okay, with this monk energy. Someone could, so, okay, so it's definitely with monk, it's a TV show. Okay, it's a little bit older. But um, with monk, basically, he lost his wife. Um, and after he lost his wife, he regressed. And he, that's when he started having like a lot of, um, like he has like an OCD, like a neurological disorder. Basically, he has he has extreme OCD. He can't really leave the house without like having like like everything or like everything has to be in a certain order. Da da da. Like I know what this is because like I've experienced it, but I experienced it in the opposite way. Like I used to be like super like OCD and very like you know, but um, I still battle with it. But after my traumas that I went through, it became the opposite like it was like I didn't give a fuck about nothing but then it like um like I had to come to a balance so this could be what's happening to someone whether it's the other way around or not so I don't know someone could have went into like a super depression where they just didn't give a fuck about nothing whatever or um like after the trauma or they started to care about every little thing like the details too much they focus on every you know the perfection perfecting everything um, and this could be their superpower. Like, I feel like, um, both of, both aspects are needed for this person to go into their, like, it's like waves. Okay. Waves are like, 
up and down, up and down. Like, you know, they're not perfect. They're not one, like waves come up and down. So it's, it's giving like a little bit of a roller coaster energy. All right, cheetah girls. So I'm also getting like a split in like a girl group or like a, ba a band or something like a, a split cheetah girls. So Mommy. yeah. Nobody knocked on the door. door, door. <laughs> okay. Well, don't answer, okay? Hey, Arnold. Jane the Virgin. All right, so someone, someone's obsessed with somebody here. And they're trying to trigger this person's lower self. Um, they want this person to, like, regress into, like, some sort of behavior that they used to do or acted out of or whatever when they were traumatized in some type of way. So this could be, like, someone not being able to open their heart or someone being a little bit too emotional or something like that. And the reason why they're doing this is because they don't want this person to be in like a higher commitment. Jane the Virgin. Someone could be trying to make someone look like crazy or like... Or someone could be just trying to get someone to like close off to like new relationships. Like they don't... So it's like basically like, you know, you have a conversation with someone and it's like, okay... You have a conversation with someone. You tell someone how you feel, whatever. You guys establish that you're together, da da da. Then the next day, next time you see that person, this person acting like they don't even know you. You never had this conversation, shit like that. And the reason why is because maybe they dealt with some someone in the past that did this to them, where you, they would have this conversation with them, and then the next day, like they'll be with someone else. Like you know, it would be like they never even had this conversation. So they're always left like. To wonder so if someone could need re reassurance or they need they need consistency because they they've dealt with a lot of inconsistency in their life like this is like someone purposely manipulating them emotionally and stuff like that it's narcissistic abuse so someone's purposely uh, uh, manipulating someone telling them like hey we're together we're gonna be together forever we're gonna get married we're gonna do this then the next day they going on dates with bitches and shit like that or the opposite like you know they're going out with a new nigga and it's like what the fuck so it's like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's like, you know, even though this, you maybe have told this person like, oh, we're going to do this. Oh, I do love you. I'm not cheating. Da, da, da. They need reassurance. So it could be like some tit for tat energy that someone wants someone to believe or not trust you or trust other person or something. Or to think that everybody acts this way, like not everybody's a narcissist or not everybody acts like, you know, people have narcissistic tendencies, but not everybody acts like that. All right. Um, okay. Let's see here. Let's get some. All right, Pisces. What's coming towards you? This could also be like, this is corny as hell. Like someone wants you to not trust someone. So they're going to like, it's like they're projecting thoughts into your brain. Like, oh, this person's going to do the same thing. Oh, this person's the same way. After they leave you, they're going to be with the next person. Da, 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 da. And then it's like, okay, maybe you used to, like, whenever, maybe this person used to do this to you or do this to this person, right? And they would react back. Like, okay, well, you're going on dates and stuff, so I guess I'm just going to text this person back. And they want you to do the same thing to this person that's not even cheating on you. So that's the thing. That's what's going on here. All right, what's coming towards Pisces? What's coming towards Pisces? What's coming towards Pisces? Okay, three of wands. Okay, so traveling. Some sort of traveling here. Yeah, everything is fine. Like, the, the future, as far as your future, everything is fine. So I feel like someone wants you to question your future, your destiny, who you're supposed to be with, or something like that. There's some, something here that has to do with, like, your future endeavors, Okay, with the uh, eight of pentacles. So this could definitely work. Okay, so everything is fine. Someone wants you to also question, like, your stability, your job. Like, if you have to get a new one, if you have to do something else to make money or something like that. No, this is your destiny. Whatever you're doing right now, this is what you're supposed to do. Someone wants you to question your future. Okay, three of wands. That's future energy. That's also traveling. But that's, like, what's to come. Like, first scene. All right? I foresee that everything is fine, okay? Eight of Pentacles, keep working, all right? There's a faded event here, Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. 
Five of Pentacles is right behind that. Wheel of Fortune. Three more cards here. Okay, you'd be dealing with a Scorpio with the Five of Cups, uh, Seven of Wands, and a Nine of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Um, eight of Pentacles. I saw the Two of Pentacles. So I see here, like, some imbalance in some imbalance of the finances here five five and eight all right so that's three of pentacles and then we got two of pentacles so i feel like you could be um trying to balance like what you're doing but you're gonna need um someone to help you or you're gonna get someone to help you all right this person could be contributing or helping you uh, revitalize your energy, I just heard, all right? With this Knight of Wands energy, this could definitely be like a, a counterpart that you could be sleeping with, okay? They could actually be helping you like rejuvenate yourself um, or like get creative. Seven of Wands shit. What's, what's the Seven of Wands? She's at work, baby. Ten of Cups. So I feel like everything is fine and you're happy protect that whatever you're happy about okay it could be work it could be a lover it could be whatever protect it with the seven of wands because i feel like someone is trying to basically three with this three of wands and the five of pentacles what's that like what is that it doesn't seem like it seems like someone wants you to like someone could be projecting thoughts that like whatever you're doing right now is not gonna go nowhere like you know um, three of Wands because they want you to believe that so you can manifest that. Three of Wands and Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands and Five of Pentacles. Four of Cups. This is also like, okay, you know what this is? This is also the energy of like Sorry. accepting less than. Sorry. Hold on, baby. You see that I'm working, right? You have to wait a second, okay? Can you please go watch TV while mommy working? Mm -mm. I'm going to be done. Just give me five minutes. No. Three of wands, two of wands. So you have options, but someone wants you to accept something that is not enough for you so that you can be in the five of pentacles. So this is like kind of like overworking and not receiving like the amount that you are worth or something like that with the magician here. I feel like you could be manifesting. Um, Raina, Raina, uh-uh, uh-uh, get, uh-uh. Raina, come on. Stop. Okay, I see this. I see what's going on. So look, the magician with the five of wands in reverse and the four of wands with the high priestess, you could know about a marriage or you know you're getting married. So whatever magic you're doing, it's like um, five of wands, Some it, it's, it's to counteract some sort of conflict. So if this is not magic, this is you manifesting like a happy home or something like that. All right? Um... Someone could be doing magic to cause some sort of, like, strife in your home. Yeah. Two of Wands. This is also a lot of distraction energy and stuff like that. You could be... Okay, so I feel like you're going to get... I feel like this could be past energy here. Like, um, but in the future, everything will be fine, basically. 
but right now it's like someone doesn't want you to see like the end of the tunnel or something like that they don't want to see the light they don't want you to see the light at the end of the tunnel okay this is the magic that they're doing to keep you thinking like in the in the five of pentacles to be in the lack now if this isn't magic this is some sort of like manipulation tactics like oh you're never gonna be you know this and that oh this person thinks they're a celebrity they're never gonna do that they're never gonna be this like please take a breath with us real quick okay so um you may need to take a breath whenever you're feeling like this energy you may need to do some breathing exercises okay let's get some advice reina 